power analysis at an electric vehicle. So the of power analyzer is used in uh, a couple of different applications for testing of electric vehicles like uh, power analysis, efficiency measurements, efficiency mapping, uh, de cool transformation, summer winter testing, back EMV tests, a lot of different application builds. Now I want to show you uh, a measurement at this uh, remote controlled electric vehicle where we measure the DC power of the battery and the three phase output uh, after the inverter to the motor. Okay, let's switch to the software. So, uh, after configuration of the analog input setups, so we defined our uh, channels for DC, DC voltage and DC current, as well as for AC voltage and current, uh, switch, we switch to our power module. And in this case, now we have a DC power module with battery, battery voltage, and battery current, which is synchronized to the AC power module. And we have the AC power module. So the system configuration is now three-phase delta. Uh, as line frequency, we have the uh, variable frequency after the inverter. And then we already can go to measure. And in measure, uh, as soon as I start the vehicle, we already will see our readings. So uh, on the top left we will see the scope for the voltage and the current. Uh, in the vector scope we will see the three phase system of voltage and current uh, together with the phase angle. Uh, in this recorder screen we will see the frequency uh, going up and down uh, as well as the DC power and the AC power. And in the digital readings we will see the current and voltages uh, as well as the efficiency here, the DC power here and the AC power here. Okay, in this case we see uh, it's not a very efficient electric vehicle, the efficiency is around 30-40%. We already see, we also see at the waveform of the current, it's not the perfect control electric vehicle, but enough to show the capabilities of the DVS of power analyzer. So again, uh, raw data with scope view, vector scope, recorder view, and in addition also FFT analysis and FFT view. <laughs> At this, at this 2D FFD, uh, we nicely see also now uh, the funda fundamental frequency increasing during acceleration. We also see uh, the switching frequency at the higher frequencies and below also the 3D FFD. So this is the fundamental frequency which is now increasing. And here in the back we will also see the switching frequency which is around 80, which is around 80 kilohertz. <laughs> 